headquarters of Bearsville Bees, and we got you in the shop today. You see the background, it's definitely a lot different. Bob, come on in here. All right. Bob's going to be going through their Layens hive, and let the cat out of the bag. This is similar to the hive that we're going to have at our house. Uh, this is one that Bob keeps here in the shop. This is what they ran some of their prototypes off of, and they're still working on and critiquing. But uh, Bob's going to go through this hive, let you see some pros and cons to it, let you see their quality and their work. And uh, I'm just going to kind of hover around and get some good shots and right. see what he's got to do. So let's let him go through that, and we'll see what we got. Thanks, All right. Bearsville Bees were really, really excited to introduce our new and improved version of the Lands Hive. Um, Lenny and I have been working on this concept for probably going on a year. Well, actually, before last year, we started prototyping, and you'll see around the shop different parts and pieces and version. This is a prototype box we're working on. We use it to get fit and finish, and we'll walk over here uh, in a little bit, and we'll see what the final concept to come out to. So Lenny's going to go ahead and throw that entrance reducer on real quick. The advantage of the Lands Hive is it's a triple insulated box. Landing strip. Uh, landing strip. Or the landing strip. So little features like, like the landing board, um, something that we think helps promote the hive growth. So what's a, what's a Lands Hive? A Lands Hive is a horizontal hive some stuff around here. Lead, vent holes, there's a layer of insulation, half inch insulation in here. So the top of this lid is insulated, which is really, really important to how these hives work. The frames of a Lands is much, much different than that of a Langstroth. This is a deep frame. This is the equivalent to, to about two medium Langstroth frames put together. We've got a starter strip of honey up on the top. This just makes it when the bees come in, they have honey they can, or wax that they can start drawing off of instantly. We include two or three starter strips and then just wired frames. When the bees will come in, they start at the top, and they'll, st they'll draw down this amazingly, amazingly quick. As you can see and look in this box, quite a difference from the outside to the inside. Um, and again, this is a prototype. So this was just to get our fit and finish. Let's walk over here, Andrew, and look at what we've got on the table over here. Lenny's been working exceptionally hard at coming up with our finalized design. So this is the outer box, your entrance holes, the inner box. That's so you, just the insulation. This is just the, the in box. insulation inside. This box then will be what the bees live in. We changed up from the bee conference in Morgantown. A gentleman walked up and said, hey, I, I'm, he bought one. And he said, I'd like to have a window in the back of that thing so I, could, so I could see in it. So Lenny's been working on, we have a piece of Lexan here. It's just got the, the film on it. So this is actually a clear piece of Lex, Lexan. And when this box sets in here, Lenny, come over and give me a hand if you can. So you can imagine, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to jam it all the way down in because he's got some more work to do. This box will go all the way down. We'll cut the window in this box to match this, this window, and we'll have a door with insulation here. So instead of coming out, if you want to come out, say, you know, in November, when you really don't want to be opening your bees up if it's cold, come out, pop the door open, take a quick peek. You'll be able to see, you know, are my bees clustered? Are they active? What's, what's going on? So again, the advantage of a land hive. What are the advantages of the land hive? You got one box, insulation, another box. All the way around these bees, and then including in the lid and on the bottom, they have a layer of insulation. Very different than the Langstroth hive because there is no insulation. They have a three quarter inch wood insulation. Another advantage, the big advantage, and what we are finding the people who have bought these boxes, when I lift this, when this hive's put together and I'm checking my bees, what do I have to lift? I have to lift one of these. So all I'm picking up out of that box when I'm checking my bees or I want to take honey, that's what I lift.
I'm not picking up a knife. If you take a honey super full of honey, a deep, you're almost at 90 pounds. I made a mistake last year, had bees going crazy. I had two supers up here. Get on a step ladder and try to take 90 pounds full with honey and bees down, pain in the butt. This is a great hive for beginners beekeepers. If you want to just produce honey and you want to produce massive amounts of honey, this isn't for you. If you want to raise bees naturally and healthy and treatment free, this is the way to go. Absolutely, I agree. All right, well, I'm gonna hand this off to my wonderful wife and I'll go over here and, and join you, Bob. All right. So guys, what we're gonna do, now that Bob's kind of gave you an overview of these lands highs, is we're gonna come back and we're gonna go start to finish. All three of us, four of us, we're gonna start with a big wood pile that we got over here behind you that you can't see. And we're gonna go through each step and we're gonna show you the 42 times that these guys handle this one piece of wood to make one of these boxes. So stay tuned for future videos. We're gonna do step-by-step -step build of one of these boxes. And you never know, it may just be the one that goes home with me. So. We'll see what happens. All right, brother. Appreciate it. All right, Bob. Thank you. We'll see you Thank on the you. next video. All right. Bye, everybody.